All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start off by giving all praises to Yahweh, Barashim Yahushai, Yahweh, which is the name of the Most High in ancient Paleo Hebrew, and Yahweh Shai, which is the name of the Only Begotten Son. I just want to do a little video about the um, the doctrine of the uh, of the fallen angels, man. All right, in that you know the doctrine of you know Satan, you know fallen from heaven, man. Right, you know, you, we all know the story that we were all told in church, right? That you know, that before the earth or whatever, you know, you know, Satan, you know, rebelled against the Most High and you know took a you know a third of the angels down the earth with him when you know the Lord cast them out of heaven. That's what they they say. However, being somebody who has read the entire book myself, there is not one mention of this um of this happening. Okay, that is a, uh, what we call, you know, Christian uh, mythology. Okay, Christian mythology, so to speak. Okay, that's not found in the Holy Scriptures, man. Okay, and you know, as far as, you know, the fallen angels, you know, that's another false doctrine. Okay, there are no fallen angels. However, I will say uh, there are, um, you know, demons. That is true. There are demons. And the spiritual demon Satan, that is true. However, they did not fall, you know, from heaven, you know, rebelling against the Most High, but rather they were made by the Most High, you know, to carry out the Most High's, you know, wicked, you know, um, when the Lord wants to do something, you know, quote unquote evil, he'll have one of those left hand spirits, you know, do it, man. Okay, one of the, you know, the, the, the wicked, you know, uh, Wicked spirits, as people call fallen angels or demons. Okay, because, you know, the answer to the Lord, man. A good example would be, um, what is that? Uh, I believe it's Mark, the fifth chapter, or Matthew, the fifth chapter. Um, you know, the Lord found a, uh, you know, a man. Yeah, I believe it's Mark, the fifth chapter, that, you know, was, um, you know, full of demons. Matter of fact, let me even pull that out. Let's read a little bit of that. Bear with me. Okay, uh, let's see. Alright, All right, here, I'm going to look for the verse. I'll be right back. Alright, I got it, I got it. I'm not going to read the entire story. But, um, just for the sake of what I was saying, I will read a decent amount of it. Uh, anyway, this is the book of Mark. Chapter uh, 5 and verse uh, 1. And they came. It's like I got to touch the screen every couple seconds or it's going to turn off. It says, And they came over unto the other side of the sea, into the country of the Gadareans. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And when he came out of the ship, immediately there met him out of the tombs a man with an unclean spirit who had his dwellings among the tombs. And no man could bind him, no, not with chains, because that he had been often bound with feathers and chains, and the chains had been plucked asunder by him, and the feathers broken in pieces. Neither could any man tame him. And always, day and night, he was in the mountains and in the tombs, crying and cutting himself with stones. And when he saw Yehowashai afar off, he ran and worshipped him, and he cried with a loud voice and said, what have I to do with thee, Yahweh Shai, thou son of the Most High? I adjure thee by Yahweh, that thou mayest torment me not. For he said unto him, Come out of him, thou unclean spirit. And he said unto him, What is thy name? And he said unto him, Verse And he answered, saying, My name is Legion, for we are many. And he besought him much that he would not send them out of the country. Now there was... There nigh unto the mountains a great herd of swine feeding, and all the devils besought him, saying, Send us into the swine, that we may enter into them. And forthwith Yehoshai gave them leave, and the spirits, the unclean spirits, went out and entered into the swine, and the herd ran violently down a steep place into the sea. They were also about two thousand, and were choked in the sea. And they that fed the swine actually... We don't need to get uh we don't need to get the rest. Or right, I pretty much got what I needed. Um 
But yeah, you know, it is true that there are, you know, unclean spirits, right? Or what people call, you know, demons. Okay, that is a, that's true. That's not false, right? As we just read in the story. Okay, but how did they get like that? Because they were created to, you know, um, to be that. Okay, they were created to, you know, to be those unclean, you know, spirits. Okay, um, let me see. You know what, just so I don't have to keep touching the screen every couple of seconds, I'm going to do a part two to this video. Okay, so uh, it's lucky about that, but uh, I'll see y'all in, uh, in part two. Just let it play out the six minutes because of my OCD.